Hello and welcome to this video on Picascope 7, which actually starts with Picascope 6 because what I want to do is amend startup settings so that every time the scope is turned on, it's set up in a fashion that is applicable for automotive. So you can adjust time frame here. Let's go for 200 millisecond divisions and let's have this on uh, 20 volts. And this would also be a times one probe. So the setup that we've set here or will be 20 volts on channel A, 200 millisecond divisions, and we'll save our startup settings. So file, startup settings, and save user default settings. Now we've set this up in Picascope 6 because this will actually be transferred to Picascope 7. So when we open Picascope 7 now, we want to see just channel A active, 20 volts, 200 millisecond divisions. Hello and welcome to Picascope 7. This is the startup screen that you're presented with. Um, guided tests first of all. If it's not required, just close that. Notice our startup settings have now been pulled in. So we are 20 volts on channel A. Only channel A is active because everything else is switched off. It's a times one probe here. There's a summary. It's also DC coupled. And 200 millisecond divisions. That's what we set up in Picascope 6 and it's pulled our startup settings across to Picascope 7. So start, stop, left hand corner. Time base and sampling controls are here. So anything that's bold is your current setting. So we are on 200 millisecond divisions and we are favouring buffer memory at this stage. Trigger, trigger options. Well, what's highlighted bold is none because there is no trigger. Trigger sources are here. Uh, your pre-trigger, how much time before the trigger do you want to allow? Um, waveform buffer, click on this. This will give you um, each uh, waveform thumbnail. So we have four in total capture and I can jump back to one, back to three, and I can choose the size of them here. Clicking outside the box closes the relevant menu. So click into the graph here, closes the buffer menu. And if I then want to close the waveforms completely, remove them from here. Guided tests, auto setup. So if there's something that uh, you're not sure what you're measuring, what the voltage will be, um, whatever channel A is connected to, click auto setup and the scope will try uh, and set all the settings relevant to capture a signal whatever is present on channel A. Open, well that will take you to waveforms, wherever you may have them saved. Save, this opens up the vehicle details box now, so you'll specify exactly where you want to save the folder to, the file name, the file type. Um, how many waveforms we can see here? We've got uh, four in total. We could save all four. We could save just the current one on screen or we can choose a range of waveforms. It may be that we want uh, waveforms one and four. Uh, all your vehicle details here. Channel labels, depending on what you're um, saving or measuring, sorry. So you may want to add in here that it is um, ABS, for example. Any notes that you want to include. And then, of course, click save and that will attach or include all of this detail with your saved file. So cancel. Um, have a look at the controls here for channel A. Anything to do with channel A will be found under the channel A button and likewise for all other channels. So at the moment anything highlighted blue is our current status. So we are on a manual setting 20 volts DC coupled with band limit off our waveform is not inverted um, zero offset here is a feature that you'll um, use if you need to zero the channel for whatever reason for the, f for the fact it may not be on zero when you open. Uh, your probe menus are all here under probes. DSP is uh, digital signal processing or that is filtering so low pass whether you're going to filter apply some kind of filtration to a noisy signal you'll click here and your display features, um, the name, the color of the channel, which you can change if you wish, scale and offset. Okay, so we can change the scale here, times five. 
um, back to one. Um, we can click inside here as well and actually type in a value that we want. Click outside. Uh, offset, how much offset do we want? See how the zero point here is moving up or down depending. Again, we can type in there a value. Let's type in five. And then just a quick restore, type in zero. Okay, the more button here, this will reveal all the options that you have. Um, a tip here is if you want to um, star something bold, if I click on settings here now, you'll notice that settings has moved across into my tool panel here. So when I click outside, settings is always readily available. So I'll just show you that once more. Click on more. I'll um, take away the bold or uh, deflag if you like settings okay settings has now gone from the tool panel so you actually populate this area here with all your um, features of interest so whatever is in the more panel here that you're going to use regular daily virtually every capture just bold click on let's have um, well auto setup yeah, so auto setup at the moment is over here, but let's say I want to keep it in my tool panel here on the left hand side. I click on there, and there it appears. So every time I open up Picascope 7, these are all, all of the tools that I use regular, they'll be here. Let's have a look at some of these tools. Um, measurements, okay, number of measurements uh, at the moment only applicable to channel A because only channel A is active. Uh, so a connect device, it may be that, uh, well, we've got 44258, or I may want to run in demo mode, so we can do that here as well. Notes. Okay, notes are featured down here. Type in as many notes as you want. We can also click on these notes and then drag them. So we actually have the middle of the graph if we need to. Maybe to the right of the graph over there. Notes would be uh, displayed here. All right, that's a pretty rapid tour of PicoCoach 7, but I hope it's useful and um, it's free to download, remember. All right, many thanks. Take care.